Actually, I was uh, 19 years old. 300. It's been a while. It's been a while. No, oh my God. Are you crazy? Are you Andy with tens again. Art's going to come along after Maria folds the deuces. Oh, and Maria would have flopped the full house here. Andy's going to make a small bet for protection here. Art raises. This is interesting. Art with a backdoor heart draw here. The backdoor backdoor wheel draw, and he does block some of Andy's strongest ace X hands. Very interesting raise from Art. He does not pick up equity here on the turn. So let's see if he gives up or does continue to fire. And he does give up. Art figuring he can have quite a few ace x here from the third blind. Art thinking here a little bit. Art goes a little bit under pot here. Yeah, coach, <coughs> coach John and Coach Maria. Middle coach, game coach. Kind of a weird <laughs> hand here. <laughs> wow, and, and Andy just mucks the tens pretty quickly. And Art's bet gets through. Go ahead, please. You owe it. Oh, really? You wouldn't tell, us, you 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 wouldn't tell us about the handsome man story. Yeah, so. but a uh, handsome man? No. No, Don't no, worry no, about that, it. The, girl, <laughs> the girl that's... Uh, that girl that likes hits with that, yes. Anyway, moving on. Uh, what is he, what is he, uh, he wants to... 350. So, <laughs> Art opens this one up. Andy just calls <laughs> with the suited Broadway from the small blind. And now he leads when he flops the nuts. So we're seeing an unconventional play from Andy. And Art's going to raise here. Art has a good hand to raise. He blocks two pair. He blocks a set of tens. And he blocks the nut straight. Andy checks his turn over to Art after raising the flop. And let's see if Art continues here. He has one of the best bluffing combos he can have here. And he's going to go pot, yeah, which I like the sizing. And Andy is going to call and let him hang himself. The board pairs on the river. Good card for Andy again. Or good card for Art. I'm sorry, good card for Art because Art can have the aces, the kings, the tens. He does block tens, and he does block the straight, and I think we're going to see Art fire here. Over bet, 1.5x from Art. I like it. We can see Andy has the straight here.
but if Art's going to have any bluffs here, this is the hand to do it with. Art can't like that. I don't think Andy can raise here. Actually, I really is almost out of the question. And then you go all in. Hoping go all in. And he does just call. And he's going to be good. So Andy's unconventional play gets him paid there. Putting the ante out there and the third blind makes the game better. Two blind poker is, you know, it's just kind of boring if people are playing how they're supposed to be playing, which mostly they don't. But when you get to the high stakes, you want to give incentive for action. Just makes the game more exciting. So John's going to open this up with a mystery hand. Art is going to call on the button. And Maria is going to come along after limping from early position. And wow, Art flops the set and Maria with top pair. And John with the nut flush draw. We're going to see a massive pot here. Art is just going to call. Slow playing bottom set against John. And John gets there on the turn. And Maria now hits two pair. Wow. Let's see John sizing here. And Art has to hate that turn. But he's not going to fold here. And Art is going to continue with the call. And now let's see what Maria does with top two. And she folds. A good fold from Maria there in third place. And a nine on the river. A blank. And when John bets into two other people on this flap and then fires on the turn into two other people. Art can't be feeling good even with his set here. And now John checks. John gets tricky on this river. Maybe realizing his tight image. And Art sniffs it out and checks back the set. Art raises it up with Ace King. Oh, and we've got a real hand. Once again, John with Kings. He's going to three bet from the third blind. And Art from under the gun is just going to call. When John three bets in this configuration, he's going to be extremely tight. Wow, and Art flaps the ace. Extremely tight. John may be flatting some of even his queens and jacks here and some of his ace-king offsuit. From an under the gun open, John just does not have much incentive to three bet from the third blind, so he's going to be extremely value-oriented, extremely tight, and actually... He just continues for 900 here. 
doing this with the entirety of his range. And now let's see how he proceeds on this turn. After Art calls, he is going to check. Art essentially has the nuts here. goes a little under half pot. I like his sizing. Thinking that John Seabet and then check range here is going to primarily be composed of hands just like he has. Kings, queens, sometimes jacks, sometimes some Wheel aces, specifically ace five suited, some ace four suited. And now the clubs get there on the river. And John does have the king of clubs. It would be hard for him to have a flush here, though, after his pre flop three bet in this specific configuration. And let's see if Hart does go for 62. value here. He does. And John does have the nut blocker, but it's kind of irrelevant here. It's just hard for him to have a club flush. Yeah. The hearts do brick out, but John has a heart in his hand which reduces Art's, combination, Art's combinations of flush draws. John's just in a pretty uncomfortable spot here. John deep in the tank here. And he does flick in the call. And Art gets paid.